Creating on YouTube lets you share your voice and build connections with your audience. But as your channel grows, you may encounter situations that leave you feeling uncomfortable, vulnerable, or unsafe. This could be harmful comments or chats, account impersonation or hijacking attempts, or in extreme cases, even threats of violence. We want to make sure all creators feel equipped to handle unwanted behavior so that you can maintain a healthy relationship with your audience and continue to share authentically. In this video, we'll cover two main aspects of staying safe as a creator on YouTube. We'll first walk through a safety checklist of proactive, preventative steps you can take at any point in your creator journey. Then, we'll cover steps you can take and resources to support you in the event that an incident does occur and you need help. How can you proactively ensure that you and your account stay safe on YouTube? We'll cover how to help mitigate account hijacking, harmful comments, doxing, and overstepping boundaries. First, let's start with some crucial basics around account security that all creators should implement. Turn on two-step verification. With two-step verification, you'll have a second layer of sign-in security, which is a hugely important step in preventing hacks. Use a separate email just for your channel and create a strong password that you don't share with anyone. Consider turning on advanced protection. You can find more info on how to use advanced protection in our help center. And beware of phishing scams. Be careful when anyone asks you to click any links or sign into your account. Check out myaccount.google.com slash security dash checkup for more on how to strengthen your online security. Next, comment moderation. To help prevent hurtful comments, consider creating a blocked words list. With the blocked words list, you can prohibit comments containing specific words from showing up in your comment section. You can also block your real name, address, and other personal information to prevent it from being discussed. To create the list, go to Studio, then Settings, and then Community. For live chat, you can also turn on the Hold Potentially Inappropriate Chat Messages for Review setting. Chats that might be inappropriate will be held for your review and won't be posted until you approve them. To set comment and chat defaults for all your videos moving forward, go to YouTube Studio, then Settings, then Community, then Defaults. Next, be vigilant about what you share. Of course, every creator is different and will have different boundaries, but once something is out there, it's out there forever. Many creators have told us that information they shared when they were a small channel was not something they were comfortable sharing with a large audience. People can piece together information about you, even if you think it isn't noticeable in your content. Here are some things you may want to do to prevent someone from doxing you or publishing your private or identifying information. Don't use your real name for your channel name. Avoid discussing where you live, work, or places you and your loved ones frequent. Check to see if there's anything in your content that might accidentally give away this information. Look for things like street signs, house numbers, or pieces of mail before sharing your video. Use a blurring effect on sensitive information. You can do this with your own editing software or by using the video editor tool in YouTube Studio. If someone does publicly share your private information, follow our privacy complaint process in our help center. Finally, it can be helpful to draw boundaries with your audience. Parasocial relationships are ones where some fans may feel very close to you or like they know you even though you may not know them. But just like in any relationship, boundaries are an important part of maintaining a healthy connection with your audience and preventing incidents before they arise. Here are some things to help you establish boundaries with your audience. Determine how much of your life you want to share. If you share details about your private life, kids, family and friends, or feature them on camera, it can come as a shock when they become the subject of comments, or worse, targets for abusers or trolls. Be clear with your audience and let them know what feels comfortable to you. You can find a full account security checklist and more information about moderation tools in the Creator Safety Center. These proactive steps should help you prevent unwanted interactions on your channel. However, unwanted behaviors or incidents may still happen, even with all of these preventative safety measures in place. So now, let's go through what to do when an incident does occur and you need help. Remember that if you or someone you know is in immediate danger, contact police or your local crisis helpline immediately. Let's walk through what to do if you've been hijacked. 
If someone is impersonating you or your channel, if you're experiencing threats or violence, and how to care for yourself and your well being. First, what you can do if your account has been hijacked. First, try to recover your Google account. If you can still sign into your account, complete an account security checkup at myaccount.google.com slash security dash checkup. If you can't sign in, go to accounts.google.com slash sign in slash recovery and follow the steps. Then follow the prompts to change your password. For more info, check out our Fix a Hacked YouTube Account Help Center article linked in the description. If you're in the YouTube Partner Program, you can also report it to us. Tap your profile icon, then Help, then Contact Us. Once you get your account back, immediately take steps to secure your account. Review your channel permission settings to see who has access to your account and remove anyone who shouldn't have that access. And check your video's privacy settings to make sure hijackers haven't made videos you don't want shared public. Next, what can you do if someone is impersonating you? Impersonation is when someone copies another channel's content, profile, background, or overall look and feel in such a way that makes it look like someone else's channel. If someone is impersonating you or your channel, here's what you can do to protect yourself and your viewers. Report the impersonating channel to us. Go to the channel page you want to report. Click About, then Report. If you're a creator in the YouTube Partner Program, you can also contact support. To avoid viewer confusion, you can block them in your comments by clicking the three-dot menu next to their comment, then Hide User from Channel. To further protect your viewers from scams or being misled, you can also block comments with links. To do this, go to YouTube Studio, then Settings, then Community. Under the Automated Filters tab, select Block Links. We take threats of violence or physical harm extremely seriously at YouTube. Here's what to do if someone threatens to hurt you. If you're in immediate danger or if someone is stalking you, contact police or your local crisis helpline immediately. Once you're physically safe, you can report any YouTube channel, comments, and or chats to us that were related to the threat. It helps to document all evidence. You can take screenshots of what's happening on YouTube related to the incident. We also know that there may be times when interactions leave you feeling afraid, isolated, or stressed. Here are some tips to help you process these difficult situations. Check in with your emotions. In times of stress, consider what you need to feel grounded and safe. Talk to friends or family who know you in real life. Reassess your boundaries with your audience. And take a break to manage your digital well-being. If you feel like you need even more support, consider reaching out to additional resources linked in the description. The creator experience is unique, but you're not alone. Whether you need preventative safety measures or support after an unwanted incident, you can find help in the Creator Safety Center. For more information and resources, check out the links in the description. We hope they help make your creator journey smoother and safer so you can focus on what you love most, sharing your voice with the world. Thanks for watching.